kind of like the, the easiest part to song of the song easiest part to follow at least and the part that everybody really knows it's always easier to play something that you can kind of remember in your mind um even though it's like like all the melodies are really quick obviously um so yeah let's hop into the first bar so we're gonna start with our middle finger on the eighth fret of the low e and we're gonna make sure that we're palm muting also so we're just gonna rest our palm right near the bridge of the guitar and not really let that, that low E ring out because to, in order to get the tight sound that they have, that's what they're doing. So mid, middle finger on the eighth, index finger on the seventh fret of the D string, and then we're gonna hammer on our ring finger to the ninth fret of the D string, and also move our index finger to the seventh fret of the G string. So eight, seven, hammer on to nine, shift up to the seventh fret of the B string and we're going to do hem a quick hammer on pull off these are all 16th notes so for every that just means for every beat if, if you're using a metronome every beat has four notes in it seventh fret of the B string hammer on pull off so we're going to do seventh fret hammer on to eighth fret pull off to seventh fret and then we go back to the seventh fret of the G string. So, so what we got so far, we got. So that's the first two beats. From the seventh fret of the G string, we hammer on to the ninth fret. And then we move our index finger to the seventh fret of the D string. Hammer on to the ninth fret as well. From there, So pull off right after that. So it's going to be. It's a lot of the same kind of movements. It's just a lot of pentatonic kind of movements, but it makes a really catchy riff. So from from this part on the B string. And then from there, we put our pinky on the 10th fret of the A string and our ring finger on the ninth fret of the A string as well. The reason we have to put both there is because we're about to pull off to get this ninth, this 10th fret pulling off to the ninth fret. And then from there, our pinky goes to the 10th fret of the low E, and we pull off to get that seventh fret. So let's go through this first bar really slowly. So now we're going to move on to bar two. Um, our middle finger is going to be on the eighth fret of the low E. We're going to pluck a down stroke, still palm muted. Bar off fret seven and seven of the D string and the G string. These two notes. The ninth fret of the D string. And we're going to get that with our ring finger. And then we're going to actually use our middle finger and ring finger here to pluck. Down stroke, middle finger plucks, ring finger plucks, middle finger plucks. You're kind of assigning a string to each of these fingers. And then we're going to move over to the 5th fret of the low E with our middle finger. Index finger is on the 3rd fret of the A, and our ring finger is on the 5th fret of the D. So what we're going to do is down stroke on the 5th fret of the low E, and then we're going to use our middle finger and our ring finger again to pluck. So down stroke, middle finger, ring finger, middle finger, down stroke, and then we're going to 
shift to this chord really quickly. Frets five of the low E, fret five and five of the D and G. You, you want to mute this A here. You don't want to hear that note. You just want to you want to use the the skin on on your index finger to just kind of mute that A string, but not press the fret down. So you want these three notes. Okay, you don't want this note. And we're gonna attack this the whole chord. And we're gonna slide up to the seventh fret. And right after that, we do our pick on the open P and open E. So let's work on this. So we did the first two bars. Um, the third bar is actually this exact same as the first bar. And the beginning of the fourth bar is the exact same as the second bar. Quick rest, same thing here. Downstroke, middle finger, ring finger, middle finger, pick. And then we're gonna slide up from the fifth fret. Ring finger plucks this one, slides up to the seventh fret. Pinky plucks the zero on the G string. And then a ring finger plucks back to slide down to the five. So let's go through the whole thing pretty slow. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped, and you guys can definitely get this part down. Um, just four bars, start slow. I mean, when I first tried, tried learning this part, I was I was like, I'm never gonna be able, to play that, be able to play it up to speed, but you know, you just work on it, um, you slowly increase the speed, and you make sure you're not making mistakes, because if you're making mistakes at slow speeds, it'll just get worse as you increase the, the, the tempo. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, keep an eye out for other Tron tutorials, other um, Prog tutorials. I'm trying to get some out there because I mean I can't. I never really found any out there myself. Um, so I, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks.